What's up guys, Thomas here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the full specifications of the Power 30 drone by Beta FPV. Let's see if these specs make it the perfect drone for you. Let's get into it. All right guys, so this is the latest and greatest drone by Beta FPV. Not only is it their newest drone, it's also a first. This is the first three in Cinewhoop made by Beta FPV. Let's start with the basic, the difference between the analog and the digital version. This right here is the analog version of the drone. They also make a digital version, which you can use with your DJI goggle system. Gives you better reception, better range, and a clearer image. Having said that, this one weighs 145 grams without the camera, and the digital version weighs 173 grams. Beta FPV is claiming somewhere between six and a half to seven minutes of flight time with this version. Okay, so the big thing about this drone, the headline is the material. This is the Pavo 30 frame. Beta FPV is using a PA12 plastic material on this. Now, Beta FPV is very proud to announce that just because that's a special plastic. Now, that plastic is renowned and known for its resistance, its tensile strength, its lightness, and its flexibility. Now, you may say, well, other drones are made of plastic. Well, this one here has those qualities to make this a more durable and lighter drone. If you look at this drone closely, you see a majority of it is plastic. Now there is some carbon fiber under the frame here to help strengthen the actual X or cross frame here. And this reminds me of a lot of the expensive real airplanes out there now. They have carbon fiber reinforced plastic. And this reminds me a lot of that. So we'll see how durable this plastic is. We will be taking our first flight in the next video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so you can see that video. So let's talk about the flight controllers. The Pavo 30 boat version has a F7 flight controller, F722, it's a 35 amp flight controller, and that's pretty much industry standard at this point. Most drones will have a F7 flight controller, and that's pretty good. This will be future proof for any upgrades, for any kind of update to the beta flight. Yes, uh, some drones do have an F4, but it's good to have an F7 with that extra processing power. Okay, as far as the motors on this thing here, this is the, the big selling point here as well. This is their first three inch quad. This is the analog version. This one has a 1505 motor. The digital version has a 1506. In this case, this one has a 3400 kV motor, but Beta FPV says that this combination creates a smoother, more powerful flight and gives you a longer flight time. So we'll see how that goes, but these motors are really nice and large. Now the propellers on this one, this is a HQ75 propeller. It's a five bladed propeller system. The interesting thing here is that they said that these propellers, the combination of the size, the, the way it's shaped, the design of these propellers, and the fact that these things are spinning outwards create a better flight experience. Now Beta FPV claims that with that, this propeller and the direction of rotation, it creates or it reduces a lot of washout and dips while you're in turn. So as I said, they put a lot of time into this drone. They've obviously been making drones over the years and they are learning from some of the shortcomings of previous drones. As far as the receiver on this drone, it's the same as any other drone in the market. You have the FR Skies, you have the Crossfire, and you also have the Futaba system as well. You just choose whichever system you're going for and they have that option available in the drop down menu. Okay, so the big thing here about this drone, or any drone for that matter, is the camera. What camera is on here? Now, this is a very unique design. They went with the Cadix ANT or Cadix Ant uh, camera on this. This is the analog version. If you have the digital version, it will be the Cadix Nebula, and that is good as well. The thing that's interesting here is that they didn't mount the camera on this shock absorption system right here. So this, these little grommets right here try to prevent oscillations. If there's any vibration from the motors, that will reduce the jelloing. Now, this camera here isn't gonna be recorded on a DVR, for example. You can record it via your goggles. It's still gonna be an analog version with interference and static on there. So I guess they're saying that as far as the picture image on this drone, it's kind of understood that you are gonna get some kind of jelloing or low quality image from this drone. But I don't know if you can make that argument for a digital version. Now, if you have the Nebula on here, now is that gonna cause some jelloing? 
because technically you can record 720p or HD video from that camera as well. But I haven't flown this yet and we will see if this does cause some vibration or jelloing. Talking about camera and the vibration here, uh, we do have a action camera mount. This thing, because it's a three inch Cinelope, can carry a naked GoPro, a SMO 4K camera, or a full size GoPro action cam, which is pretty cool. Now you have a plug here. This is for the SMO 4K, but there's also an included adapter here. So you can plug this into here and plug it straight into your GoPro. All right, talking about cameras, this has a VTX in here. Obviously it has a VTX, uh, all drones have a VTX. This has a 25 to 350 milliwatt VTX on here. 350 milliwatts is not bad. I wish it was, you know, a little bit longer. As I said, this is a cruiser, so you really don't need a long, long range on this, but it's nice to have that extra power so that you can have the confidence of flying this when you can't see your drone. Now they're saying that that 350 milliwatt can get you around 600 meters. Now, obviously if you're using the DJI system, that's not a problem. DJI has pretty decent range. We're talking about 1.2 kilometers. Um, so that's never going to be a problem with the digital system. So let's talk about the battery required for this drone. The Pavo 30 requires a 4S battery. Now beta FV says that they recommend a 750 to 850 milliamp hour battery. So nothing too crazy, nothing too heavy. Obviously they're trying to reduce the weight on this so you have the maximum flight time. Now they have a video on their website, I'll leave that down below, where they do a demonstration of this thing hovering in place for six to seven and a half minutes. I think almost eight minutes, but they have a demonstration showing you how long this thing can fly. Now, anything over six minutes is a win in my book. So we'll see how that goes. I've sent it with the battery. It does have an XT30 connection. Some drones do have an XT60, but it's a four cell, uh, not too much power draw, XT30 on this one. All right, guys, that's it for the specifications of this drone. This thing is pretty well built. I'm really impressed with the way it looks, the form factor, even the colors that they use. They use a nice flat black trim color on this with some red accents and then some white lettering. So it looks the part, it looks like a really sleek and uh, nice drone. Now in our next video, we will be doing our first flight and seeing how this thing performs. We have a few different batteries. We have a 750 and we also have an 850 milliamp hour battery. Uh, we are gonna fly this without an action camera and then we are gonna fly it with an action camera. So we're gonna see how the footage looks. So yeah guys, if you're interested in that video, hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified whenever I do drop that video. But anyway guys, what do you think about this drone? If you have any questions about the specifications, uh, leave them down below in the comment section. I will gladly answer those. Uh, as I said before, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because you'll be notified when I do drop some more videos on this drone. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Today we are taking a look at the specs, the full specs of the Pavel. <laughs> why, why do I keep doing that? All right. You have all the options, FR Sky, Crossfire, Futaba. <laughs>